Now here at five, we're hoping to know soon exactly what caused a motorcycle club on Detroit's west side to presumably explode early this morning. The club is located on Dexter and Webb, not far from the lodge. But as Nick Monticelli reports tonight, investigate information uh, on what caused all of this destruction just isn't adding up. So let's get the most important thing out of the way first. There was nobody inside of this club when it exploded or caught fire, so there are no injuries at all. Now, as to what happened, that is a much more difficult question to answer because there are two different sides of that story. It just looks like to me that something inside exploded. I can't even imagine what it could possibly be. There are many more questions than answers on Detroit's west side. How or why did a motorcycle club allegedly explode overnight? And who is going to figure this out? We didn't lose a building. We lost, you know, <laughs> a part of our, our family. Chilis Brown is a member of the Street Royalty Motorcycle Club. Their building at Dexter and Webb no longer exists. It's a family club. We've had um, members that have passed away from accidents and, you know, cancer and stuff like that. We had a lot of personal items that belong to them. It's important. You know, we've been here for, um, in the state in the area for about eight years and it's a lot it's a lot of collection when firefighters got here around midnight DTE crews had to shut off the gas it was presumed this was caused by a gas leak now DTE is saying there's no indication of a gas leak in fact a crew member told Brown it's probably just a fire however Detroit arson investigators say it is more than just a fire it could be what's called a low order explosion in a low order explosion the building would look like this a high order explosion pieces of it would be blown across the street. Crews did spend a lot of time looking over the gas meter, though. We'll have to wait for the arson team to figure out exactly what happened. And while the why this happened is important to the club, they'd also like to start moving forward. The owner of the building is hoping to rebuild. He's pretty positive about it. He said, you know, let's just get with the insurance company and uh, let's rebuild. So we're hoping that that's a possibility. It'd be a brand new building and a fresh start. On Detroit's West Side, Nick Monticelli, Local 4. Nobody was inside when the building exploded, so fortunately, nobody was hurt.